So the switch is finally here, and not a moment too soon. My body was not ready for all this hype. Although there was doubt, Nintendo has already announced over 100 games coming to the Switch, and that's not counting the Virtual Console or any other surprises the Switch might have in store. But even with such a fleshed out lineup, there's always room for more. With that being said, here's 10 games that should come to the Switch. Now this list is only going to include franchises that haven't been announced for the Switch and games that haven't been on Nintendo consoles in a reasonable amount of time. So games like Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed won't make the list. With that out of the way, I'm your host, 24Kevin, here for 24Kevin Tendo. <laughs> Number 10, Undertale. One of the most critically acclaimed RPGs in recent memory, Undertale follows a child who falls into the underground, a realm inhabited by banished monsters, all while trying to keep their soul out of the clutches of evil. Despite all the hype and praise surrounding the game, it has yet to have a console release. What better way than to bust on the scene than by releasing on the Nintendo Switch? I mean, it's pretty well documented that the series was inspired by Mother in the Mario Luigi series, so it only seems fitting that Undertale comes to a Nintendo console. Number 9. Candy Crush I told you Nintendo might have some surprises, and I believe one of them is that mobile games will be making their way to the Nintendo Switch. And Nintendo has already technically started doing this by announcing Vos coming to the eShop. Now, full disclosure, I was debating between Candy Crush and the Clash of Clans saga for some time, and since Candy Crush has a wider player base, thanks to Facebook and other platforms, it seems like a wiser choice. Either way, by opening up the system to simpler games makes it a lot less intimidating for less savvy gamers, and means more purchases in the long run. Plus, if you wanted to include controller capabilities, you could enable TV play and have the first ever big screen Candy Crush experience. Add in exclusive worlds released just for the Switch, possibly featuring the Koopa Kids and Bowser, and you can go ahead and start with the It Prints Money memes again. Number 8. Pokemon Go So if Nintendo does allow mobile games to come to the Switch, it seems like a no-brainer they'll bring their own mobile games there as well. Now while there's almost no doubt all their games would be on the Switch if they went this route, I think Pokemon Go would be the perfect addition to buy the system. But too fool, you can play these on your phone. And to that I say, shut up you jerk, you haven't even heard what I said yet. Picture this, you're on a long trip, you're playing the Switch, and your buddy tells you that there's a Dragonite out the window. You don't want to pull out your phone, catch that Dragonite, just to put it back in your pocket and struggle and potentially miss it. By adding in their mobile library to the eShop, the Switch could be your one-stop shop for all your mobile needs. All you need to do is set up a mobile hotspot on your cell phone and you'd never have to put the Switch away on a trip ever again. Number 7. Five Nights at Freddy's Although it's been said the series is being worked on for commercial console release, it has yet to happen. It's astounding that after all this time, Five Nights at Freddy's has never appeared on a mainstream console despite its long-standing popularity. With the Switch's gamepad, you could actually add in the actual mechanic of lifting the screen on the tablet in order to activate the tablet in the game, or you could just raise the controller using the motion controls in DV mode just for that extra ambiance. Now as far as I can tell, the only horror game announced so far for the Switch is The Binding of Isaac, so this game would be the perfect series to help flesh out the horror genre. You could release all games as a standalone in the eShop, or release a collection of all the games on a physical cart for release. In all fairness, I could totally see kids bringing the Switch to sleepovers and other events just to have people experience those jump scares in front of them. Number 6, Final Fantasy. It seems only poetic that the company that helped build Final Fantasy would finally see the franchise come home. With Cloud coming to Smash, the Final Fantasy VII Remake releasing in the near future, and Square Enix saying that the Switch is under consideration for Final Fantasy XIV, the stars have seemed to finally align to bring this series home. With the scope of this already gigantic game growing through DLC, one would think the pick up and play anytime style of the Switch would be perfectly suited for this type of game. Number 5, Hearthstone. I really like Hearthstone. Like, I really like Hearthstone. I have almost all the cards, I'm a 7 times legend, and I play it a lot on my Twitch and mobile phone. Cheap plug for my Twitch, I know, but seriously, you guys should come and hang out with me sometime. One of the huge flaws about Hearthstone on mobile devices is the size of the actual file size. In all fairness, they did reduce the size with an update not too long ago, but man, if you don't have at least 2 gigs of room on your mobile device, then you're SOL. Sorry, out of luck. By putting this on the Switch, you are solving the problem right there. As someone who plays Hearthstone multiple hours a day on my data, it barely even puts a dent in my monthly usage, so hotspotting your phone to your Switch wouldn't be much different. Granted, you would have to play in tablet mode for the most part, 
unless they included a system similar to what Yu-Gi-Oh did on the handheld systems. But the sheer longevity that this game could provide, should Nintendo continue to support the updates, then Nintendo would have a solid game people could pick up and play for the Switch's lifetime. Number 4, Overwatch. Speaking of Blizzard, they seem to have really come up with something special for Overwatch which is in my opinion the best shooter out there right now. With strong lore, characters designed to appeal to all ages, and the least graphic shooter I've seen in a very long time, and you have yourself a franchise that seems a great fit for Nintendo's family-friendly image, while being competitive enough to still appeal to an older crowd. Not only would it fill a niche, but with continued updates, new heroes, and new maps being added consistently, Nintendo could get an already proven IP to beef up the lineup further. Number 3, Rocket League. Much multiplayer. Such good. One of the best online and local multiplayer games in recent memory seems like a no-brainer for the Switch. With ranked mode, multiple game modes, and a local multiplayer, Nintendo would be fools not to try to snatch this up ASAP. All Nintendo would need to do is to add in a download play option to share with other people who don't have a copy of the game, and then watch the money roll in. With Nintendo looking at getting into eSports, and a few of these games already having a dedicated competitive scene, the Switch could very well be known as the ultimate portable competitive console. Number 2, Banjo-Kazooie. Yes, yes, I know, this used to be on Nintendo, but it's been 12 years since our last Banjo-Kazooie game. 14 if you don't count Banjo-Pilot. And I did say a reasonable amount of time, so this counts. Seeing as Microsoft has left the BK franchise to seemingly die a horrible death, and seeing Nintendo's renewed interest in the collectathon platformer with Snake Pass and Ukulele releasing soon, if these games sell well, one would hope we could see a wonderful collaboration from Microsoft and Nintendo to finally bring back the Baron Bird to its former glory. Either that or at least put him in Smash Bros for Sakurai's sake! Number 1, Kingdom Hearts. No surprises here to anyone who watches me on Twitch. Seriously, you guys better come hang out with me sometime. Kingdom Hearts is my second favorite franchise of all time, only behind The Legend of Zelda. And before you start, yes I know Coded, Days, and 3D weren't that long ago. But any console games for the franchise has never been off of PlayStation. Since Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming to the Xbox One, why not bring it to the company that actually supported handheld versions of their franchises as well? If they do eventually bring it to the Switch, I would love to see a release of 1.5 and 2.5, 2.8 as well, just so that Nintendo's audience becomes more familiar with the series and its lore. The game is designed to appeal to kids of all ages, including big kids like me, with Disney characters, great stories, and all of the feels. Oh, so many feels. I can only wish upon a star for this. And that's the list. Do you guys agree or disagree? Leave a comment down below and let me know what games you guys would like to see on the Switch or what franchises you'd like to see there. For everyone here at 24 Kevin Tendo, though, I'm your host, 24 Kevin. I gotta go, though. I gotta go wipe my eyes. Thinking of Kingdom Hearts brings back those feels. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. More! Thank <laughs> you.